Hi, Dr. Ray Drury with you uh, from the Upper Cervical Spine Center. Uh, and today, we want to talk to the relationship between chiropractic and hearing loss, uh, often referred to as station tube dysfunction. Um, what we have found is that a lot of times when people come to us with hearing loss, they look at the ear and they see there's really nothing wrong with the ear. That, uh, but, but somehow or another, the message from the ear to the brain is not getting there like it's supposed to. So we have a degree of hearing loss, sometimes total, sometimes partial. So the message that goes from the ear to the brain that records the hearing, it travels across a nerve. The nerve is called the vestibular cochlear nerve. And if there is interference to the nerve itself, then the message gets to the ear normally. It's transmitted via the nerve normally, but somewhere between the nerve and the brain, it gets distorted, which can interfere with uh, the message so that it interferes with the hearing or the reception or the interpretation that the brain may get. So what we have found is uh, that there's only one place in the body that can actually interfere with that particular message from the ear to the brain, and that's right up here at the brain stem. That vestibular cochlear nerve is a cranial nerve uh, that comes off of the brain stem and goes back up into the ear. The message comes from the ear, travels along that nerve, comes out the skull, back to the brain stem down here. So if the bone is out of position, say down in here, and is putting pressure on the, or compressing that brain stem, then like stepping on a garden hose, it can create that station tube dysfunction or quite simply a lack of hearing or inability to hear. And we found that if we can find that, and if we can put the bone back in position so that it takes the pressure off the brainstem, stops the interfering with the message from the ear to the brain, it's kind of like lifting your foot off a garden hose, then all of a sudden the messages start to normalize and people start to hear again. Matter of fact, the very chiropractic was founded off of one off of uh, Harvey Lillard was a janitor, been deaf for 16 years, and um, uh, D.D. Palmer was the guy who founded chiropractic, and what he found was a lump up here in the top of his neck, and it was where that bone had moved out of position, and he went and pushed on that lump, and the lump went away. Well, on the third day he did that, all of a sudden, Harvey Lillard got his hearing back. So that's actually how chiropractic was founded, was that, that he was able to restore somebody's hearing by correcting the position of a bone in the neck. And we have done this for 25 years at the Upper Cervical Spine Center. We've found that people that have a lack of hearing, if they have a misalignment at the top of their neck, that could be the cause. By creating that, we can actually reverse the cause and uh, the ear can actually start to work as is intended. So if you have uh, hearing problems, you station tube dysfunction, uh, it would be a good idea to get this area checked out by an upper cervical chiropractor. If you live in the Charlotte area, we would be the office for you. Uh, we're on Arrowwood Road. Our office number is 704-588-5560. Just give uh, Cynthia and Susanna a call and they'll be happy to set you up for our no-cost consultation to just see if you might have an upper cervical problem that we think could be creating uh, your hearing loss. If so, uh, from that point, we'll explain to you what we need to do. If we find that we don't have, you don't have an upper cervical misalignment that's causing it, then we will try our best to find another specialist that we think that can help you. If you don't live in the Charlotte area, Google upper cervical chiropractor near me. Find someone, just go ahead and get this area checked out. Uh, there's a chance that they might really be able to help you. Um, if you can't find one um, online, give our office a call. We'll do our best to try to find the closest one near you. So I hope you have a great afternoon. Let's get that upper cervical area checked. Let's get your head on straight. We'll talk to you soon.